Hello everybody, good day. This is Tracy Brown, your somatic nutrition um, coach and body image and intuitive eating specialist. And so today I wanted just I wanted to reflect a little bit on why this approach oftentimes is so difficult when I say this approach meaning this very um, body trust based um, approach to eating honestly and even even living and um, I just want to give some simple examples so it helps maybe make sense in your mind it may not help make you feel better this second but I just want to give you a little bit of um, it's always important to kind of go back to like, wow, gosh, why is it so hard to have like sup continuous support around me? Why does it feel so hard for people to just be nice to each other? And I was talking to a client last week and she won't mind me saying this. It's like, I feel, I've always felt strongly in my bones since I started my own recovery that even though it's really difficult, it's not all, it's also very simple. It's, it's not our place to be judging anybody on their their bodies. That's not our job. That's not our, it's not even something that we are entitled to do is to look at a person and make um, judgments about what they look like. We do it. People do it all the time. It's, it's, but you know, we live in this, this fallen world. So anyway, I was thinking about, okay, what are some of the reasons that it's so difficult for people to believe in you know, the body is wise and it knows how to get us to feed ourselves and and so I'm just gonna give you some examples so I think a lot of people are um, you know can be black and white because black and white thinking is the easiest fastest way to like go from point A to point B nuance is difficult nuance and um, situational thinking takes more time and it takes more effort so for example you know, it's really, really easy to say, okay, well, you know, if you just want to lose weight, then you just eat less food. Well, temporarily that works. And then we forget about that our bodies are all designed to have a unique blueprint about how its bones are going to be structured. And, you know, not my bone structure is exactly the same as yours and how my muscle inserts into like where, um, it meets ligaments and tendons and goes into the insertions between your bones. I mean, there's a, there's a very, very um, basic structure for all that, but I bet you that if they were to do MRIs and x-rays of me and then you, they would see like some slight differences depending on our genetics and maybe possible injuries we've had either from birth or just life. Like I have a right shoulder that doesn't extend all the way up and that's from some injuries and so you know I have a little bit of less mobility in that arm and there's nothing your arms gonna look different <laughs> that's just how it is um, and you know so we have this idea though going back to the example of calories it's like okay you just eat less and you can weigh less well if that's the case then like you don't ever see a person who restricts and tricks and goes to zero pounds it just it's never going to happen. Um, so it's just one of those things that there's a limit. There's a limit to that logic. Yeah, you can eat less, but then over time, if you continue to eat less, your body's more like a thermostat and not like a gas. Oh, the gas tank is full. The gas tank is empty. It's like, oh, well, our thermostat just gets more efficient at holding the temperature, essentially. Because if you've got it, if your body set point is at a certain place, your body is going to fight and it's going to, there's thousands of things that try to manage weight to a survivable place for your particular body, for whatever's happened to you in your life. And so if you've gone through some, lots of stress, lots of trauma, you've had some biochemical changes depending on medications or pregnancies or things that have happened, your body's going to fight to, to preserve some level of um, you know keeping your bodies with enough fuel on board to, um, to survive so calories in calories that just doesn't even fit into that nuanced equation of how bodies survive different circumstances so there's that and that's why that's so hard because you know unless you study this stuff and take some time to um, 
understand the nuances of how the body works, you're not going to want to hear about like, yeah, just eat less food and you'll weigh whatever you want to weigh. That's just not how it is. And that's difficult for people. So anyway, another reason why I've noticed over the years that people really struggle with this whole body trust thing is that, um, people, everybody wants to be liked. And if you live a culture, you know, a culture that values certain body looks or shapes or size or whatever other over others, you're going to do whatever you got to do to try to prevent, um, being teased, being ridiculed, being discriminated against. That seems pretty natural, right? It's just that how many times can you think back and we'll take food and weigh out the equation. Have you been around people that just do risky or unhealthy, quote unquote, like, you know, I'm trying to think of something silly that young, we do as young people, like probably drink and drive, right? Or, or, um, um, you know, jump off a roof because it'll make your buddies laugh. What, and this is silly examples, but teenagers and young adults do silly things that are very dangerous, that don't make sense, that the probability of harm is high, <laughs> but we do those things to impress people or to fit in or whatever. I put dieting in that category, you know. As adults, we can look at the research and we can even see our own life experiences, how it doesn't match. But there are gonna be other parts in us that like are feeling really desperate to to fit in. And there's no judgment about that, but it's just recognizing that um, it does take a lot of courage. And you all watching are those that have the courage to like challenge those ways of trying to fit in. And that's how it is, and most people don't it takes a lot of courage to be willing to do that. And sometimes those of us who've been through so much are like, you know, I've been through some rough stuff. Like, I think I can maybe get through this. Um, another thing is that when I see that people really st struggle with like, not even a buy-in, but just being willing to think about the idea, like our bodies know how to manage things. Even if you've been through some stuff and your body's totally different than it was 10 or 20 years ago, is it bodies are intelligent and they don't care. <laughs> you know, again, they're just trying to adapt and to survive our circumstances and they don't care so much at what's cool and popular and will get approval. It just wants to live and it's our fear and not, I'm not saying I'm not pointing to any of you watching this, but in general it's people's fear and pride um, that keeps them fighting against their bodies. And again, no judgment about that. It's just that we have to kind of reparent those parts that feel like that. And most people, again, that's a sincere and dedicated um, you know, effort to truth. So I'm trying to think of some other things. I mean, I'm really just trying to drop it down to the very, very basic things is that um, you know, it, it just takes a lot of humbleness and sincerity and dedication and maybe it even starts before that was just openness and um, some more soft and visual soft heartedness to be able to like you know like there's gotta be a reason that people look all different kinds of ways besides everybody just doesn't know how to like you know manage their food you know to think about how black and white that is it's really pretty silly if you think about it and um, I know a lot of times it's like, well, I get that for other people, but it's not okay for me. That just goes back to fear and trying to protect ourselves. And that's okay. That's okay. It's just that, um, it doesn't make, I know it doesn't help you that much when you're like, I'm doing this journey and other people around you think it's maybe silly or think, well, that works for you, but not for me. Just remember just because people say that doesn't mean that you're wrong. It's just that you're fighting and you're dedicated to the truth and truth isn't, is never easy. And, um, truth is painful sometimes. And sometimes you feel alone, but that's why I do these videos. So you're not alone and that you recognize that, eh, you know, just cause everybody's dieting this time of year or any other time of year, or they think that like on oh, two evenings, great, but I could never not count calories cause I'd be too out of control. there's just a lot of work to be done on their part. It's not necessarily that you're wrong. So I just want to share this. It's more of an encouragement video than anything else, but just to remind you that, um, yeah. 
there's a lot of mechanisms that allow our bodies to be what they need to be and it's not that nutrition doesn't matter and that this this whole process of free for all is that you are learning to understand that like there's a lot of mechanisms that help their body survive and if your body's been under stressful circ circumstances as has feel like it's going to starve it's going to do things to get you to get back to homeostasis. You may not like it, and most people don't want to deal with it and don't want to face it, which is why they're probably not watching this video yet. But you're here, so I want to encourage you to keep going, keep moving forward, recognize that a lot of people aren't going to be willing to be, have gotten past our black and white thinking yet around this. And it's cause, because it's scary, but that doesn't mean that you're, you're wrong and that you can't do it. We just gotta keep going one day at a time, one meal at a time, and surround yourselves with um, audio, visual, people, as much as you can that just are willing to take a step back and um, be open and be present with you. So I hope this video helps. Again, just an encouragement video, nothing mind-blowing here for you maybe, but just to remind you that um, you're gonna have fear come up because you might be in a room of 100 people and you're the only one that thinks like you occasionally. That might happen. That doesn't mean you're wrong. It always means we have things to learn and we should always stay open too. But um, doesn't mean you're, you're wrong. And um, we definitely have the right to um, trust in yourself. So I hope this video was helpful. If you thought it was and you feel like, oh, I have a friend that really needs this, you know, um, please pass it along because this information is really, 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 really important to keep our faith and keep our hope in this process. So thanks so much and take care. Bye.